Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Quantum Entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Sag, and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below. They're just about to open up, so you can just subscribe to my website, and that way you'll get a nice little notification when they open back up. And as always, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all your good karma donations. And last thing, I've been getting like some comments lately saying people haven't been getting notifications for my videos. YouTube is doing weird things. I don't really understand what it is, but if you just want to go back to my main page and, you know, tap the notification bell again and click on that, that way you'll get notified for those of you that have been wondering why. So, yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, that was the one. Why? Oh my gosh, and that was actually the one that popped out earlier. Okay, so we've got assessing. I actually love this because, so we've got the number nine up there, but see how she's got that. She's got her eye on something. Oh, this is so perfect, Sag. Okay. There could be a person that comes in, especially with the moon. There's like an illusion. There's something about a person that will come into your life and it will seem a little bit like unknown. There will, there will be a mystery about them or something that you can't quite pinpoint. There's an energy about them. And it's it's really similar with the Kim Kranz archetypes. There's a specific one that's like the, the maiden. It's kind of like the maiden combined with the poet because when you have this curiosity, it's a little bit of your own energy that has this naivety and you want to understand it because sometimes when you're seeing something that seems a little unknown or like an illusion about another person you're trying to discover something about your own energy it's a it's a little bit of your blind spot it's a little bit of your own shadow energy that's kind of being projected because you know how with the sun and the moon the moon um reflects the the light from the sun and so you're trying to find the illumination into your own shadow by looking at another human being, or maybe it's just a situation, but God, this is so perfect. I love that that popped out because I feel like that's what's going to be coming in if it hasn't already, or maybe this is a relationship that you're already dealing with where like there's a, there's something unknown. There's something that you can't totally see about a person and maybe there's you're like trying to look at them like the fine details of this person you're you've got them kind of under the microscope of your own observation to try to understand more about this person because you're like there's something about this but you can't quite pinpoint it and maybe you're trying to understand the vulnerabilities like maybe they have layers upon layers that are covering up the vulnerabilities within them let me see what comes out about this this is fascinating i'm so glad i pulled these cards because i feel like they're perfect all right first card out we have the queen of cups so yeah that's where I feel like what you're probably going to be pulling more into, maybe you're dealing with a water sign of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, possibly, but I feel like it's you that you're more using your sixth sense. You're trying to use your intuitive abilities to really discover certain aspects another, about another person that you're dealing with because there's like those layers, you know, you're trying to get to the depths of them or you're trying to understand like exactly where they're coming from type of a thing. Overhead is the two of wands. So there's a planning. There's a little bit more of like an independence to that. To me, that's a Sagittarius card where you might be on your own right now or you're like you're making plans for your future. And that also could be the assessing part as well. Like if this isn't actually about another person, you could be trying to assess certain things and plan out certain things on your future and really 
figure out where exactly you need to go to and what you need to do and you might be on your own making those decisions and so you're trying to like pull more into your intuition to try to guide you in this direction because the moon also could be that you don't really know what to do you don't know exactly where to go there's unknowns about the future and you're trying to dive into that so there's the new love that's why i was like feeling a little bit like if it's not, it doesn't have to be a person. This could be a situation. I know you guys get upset sometimes because you're like, there's no one here. And ever, all the readers keep saying there's new love coming. New love doesn't have to be a person, peeps. Because Ace of Cups is all about self-love. So you might be deep into your kind of like self-love process and you're trying to like find things that conjure up more of that love emotion within you yeah because this is perfect so we've got the hermit card and it's in your past you guys might be coming out of a deep hermit mode that's why this ace of cups is here because now you're coming out of it there will be things that come into your experience and just prepare yourself because I feel like there will be a connection that's coming in to resolve some type of shadow energy that you had and, and why you had to go into your deep hermit mode in the first place. Like you probably went into hermit mode because of some type of like, you came into some type of connections and then there was like some um, things that happened through the connections that you really had to go deep internally and have to process through. You were trying to understand maybe certain things about your past or your upbringing that could have influenced why you're operating in the way that you are right now, like why you have certain patterns in relationships, because there could have been a relationship that came in and then it uncovered some type of like pattern that kind of blew your mind so you went deep into hermit mode to try to like figure it out it didn't have to it could be long or short depending on where you guys are in your process but that's why this is perfect like you're coming out of your hermit mode there's new connections coming in friends lovers whatever it is and what eight of swords so there you are probably over analyzing some of the connections and because things will come up like there will be certain like traumas or triggers that come up for you and you'll like all I have to say don't get too caught up in your head all right because you'll probably be thinking oh these are repeats this is something similar especially because we're about to go into mercury retrograde and we're in mars retrograde so things are gonna really seem weird also neptune has a lot of influence so that's why i was really pointing out the moon because the things will not be as they seem like there will be a bit of illusions or and you're gonna have to like dive into a lot of your deep processes that help you to see it through illusions whether that's your knowledge your wisdom like how much you guys educate yourself on like you know just your own relationship dynamics certain patterns that you have you're going to want to be diving into more of that and stay really logical through this next week because yeah for sure you have new love coming in but I get the sense, let me pull into these other cards first, because you have the Seven of Cups, and that's in the fear position, so that could be illusions, fantasy, that's options and choices, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, two Eights right there, side by side, and then we've got the Page of Pentacles, so yeah, there's a new offer coming in for sure, Sorry, I sound a little loopy. I'm on my eighth day of only water, so I sound a little, but my intuition is high, so don't worry. And then you've got the three of cups as your outcome. What did I just say? So there could be like page of pentacles and the ace of cups will be new offers that come in. And with the three of cups, it could be from multiple people. And you're going to have to really observe because, and especially the seven of cups, see how there's like different these are reflections of you right we've got the snake we've got the death we've got like all these different things and different energies that come from these different offers and connections that come into your life really soon so you're gonna have to be the one that deciphers 
what's good for you based off of your self-love. And this is the key, the foundation of this whole spread. You're going to have to like use your standards and expectations to really like decide and decipher which connections are which that come into you. Because I'm just going to let you know, some of them, one of them, I feel like with the snake will be another path that will bring about another crazy transformation where you're going to have to shed another layer of yourself. And it could be a person that comes in and tries to mimic everything about you. So say, for example, like a psychopath, they try to merge and be one with you. They try to mimic everything about you. It's like a parrot. They try to like observe. They're very observant. You know, they really have this similar energy as far as assessing you and your energy. So they might like observe certain things about you and then try to mimic it to seem like your perfect match so that they can come together with you. And especially if it's romance, like, yeah, they're trying to just like get in your pants pretty much. So you need to be very like, you need to observe the situation and decipher for yourself, like who has good true intentions, because I can see here in your mind, page of pentacles and with this eight of pentacles, it's going to require a lot of focus for you because it'll be easy for you to get really up in your head. Once you feel like a trigger comes up to the surface, because this connection that comes in that tries to mimic you and maybe cross your boundaries or like do something that you're not comfortable with, it's going to require a lot of focus for you to stay in a higher vibration, to still come from love. Like that's the biggest challenge, especially with the Queen of Cups. That's all about boundaries. Like you're, if you start diving into your intuition really hardcore because you're trying to plan for the future and you're trying to connect more with your guides, sometimes it can like open up your energy a little bit and then you like others gain access to you in some way, shape or form. So that's when you're going to have to like, when you start pulling up in your head, it'll be easy for you to pull more into fear-based energies just based off of your triggers. And so it will take a lot of focus for you to stay really positive and look for solutions and look for like better connections because you're trying to alchemize those lower energies that like possibly these relationships are triggering within you. They're just triggering shadow energy within you. I hope that all makes sense. So I'll dive into the extended. Oh, let me pull your door, right? Yeah, you have patience. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that, especially a Sag. Everything soon will come to light and then you will see things will be all right. So everything's going to be all right. Just kind of chill. You know, like don't make any rash, crazy decisions. Just keep planning. Get into higher vibrations. Like really uh, watch, watch your surroundings, watch what's happening around you. And I feel like you guys will be fine, but I'll dive into the extended. I'm going to see what else comes out about that delightful little connection there. <laughs> so Sag, if you guys want to join me in the extended, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. But if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.